What up, y'all? What's the deal? With everything you I got my mama with me. Hi, so, mom. Don't be asking me no crazy questions. <laughs> can we ask her uh, questions? Yeah, she can hear y'all. Go ahead. With, with all that you've been through uh, from you know day one of camp to preseason, whatever, how good do you feel about this defense getting off to a good start down in Miami? We feel really good. Uh, you know, we, we got to play the game, and it's not, not on paper, and it's not about what we can say or right now. We got to go down there and play the game, and we got to play how we know how to play, move around fast, and you know, uh, don't let any other external things affect us. And so, it's about the, it's about the game. Matthew, a lot of rookies made the team this year, including I think four or five on defense. And what kind of energy have those guys brought, specifically on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, so uh, you're talking about Sam, Jack, uh, D. Mitch, uh, first those, those guys, Sam. Uh, you can obviously see he's a huge guy, and uh, uh, up front he's gonna he's gonna give you a lot of push, uh, and it's gonna be hard to block him with his length. Uh, D. Mitch is excellent on special teams, uh, and that also on defense he's just a high motor, high energy guy, and so that's gonna be a really good change up. And uh, Jack, uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what he can do out there on the island. Uh, very good hips, uh, very. Very good, but we got to see. Uh, and then we got Marcus um, at the safety and kind of nickel spot. You kind of see what he, what we can, he can do. Then we got Schooler. Um, very great, very good on special teams as uh, so far. But that's all different uh, in a, a regular season. Everything, everything's different. They all count. Uh, you know, they y'all talk, y'all actually start taking stat and uh, keeping them for the rest of their life. And so right now. Uh, we just got to see what those guys can do uh, throughout these practices. And then we, uh, when we put them in the game, we're going to uh, put hope and faith in them. And uh, as their career goes along, they'll develop. But right now, we don't, we don't really know. I wanted to ask you about math a little bit. Just obviously around him quite a bit last year. It's year two. How much more comfortable does he seem to you? Is he exerting himself a little bit more? And what, what have you observed? I, I think every team in the NFL is going to follow their quarterback, you know. So uh, regardless if you like it or not, he's the leader of his team. And so uh, Mac, he acted as such. And so right now uh, he has to control the offense and he has to spend extra time, which he does. He has to do all the things and have all the intangibles and go above and beyond kind of more than any other player. Uh, on the team, just because he's he's the quarterback, and you know, even though we all out there, we all get wins and losses. Like y'all gonna put them on him, regardless. It's unfair to him because uh, we we play in, we win and lose as a team. But it's gonna be it's gonna be Mac Mac Mac. That's always gonna be the headline. And so uh, we we just behind him 110 percent. And uh, what he says goes. Uh, that's our guy. That's who we got at the helm. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna be the lead a leader of our team. What has you most excited about this defense? Uh, that we get to play again. Uh, last time we went out there, you know, and so we get to play again. We get to we get to strap them up again. That's what we're most excited about. Matt, how much is this week about self scouting? You know, you remember the days of four preseason games, then you jump into the regular season. Is this kind of like a chance for you guys to kind of reflect on what you've done going back to OTAs in the preseason before you jump into preparing for Miami? Uh, this week is kind of continue to build on them fundamentals. Uh, you don't want to you don't want to forget everything that you did in training camp. Uh, you go to do training camp for a reason. Uh, you know you callous up uh, and you build and you build the team. You understand who you need to make plays and where you need to make plays and where you need to be. And so you don't want to uh, lose any of those fundamentals. But then you also look at yourself and you take a step back and say, okay, this is what we can do better. So it's not only about self-scouting. It's about also getting better throughout this week. And also we got, we got as many games on the Dolphins as they got us, us this year. And so we uh, we take that into account, and uh, we watch how the offense move the ball, um, and we watch who uh, kind of, you know, they a lot of a lot of the good guys didn't play, but we kind of watch what they was trying to do and what they're trying to build, because uh, regardless of 
what you did or how many plays you played, you kind of got to run your stuff. You know, you can't just go out there with a makeshift offense. So some of that stuff that they ran, they're going to run. And obviously, they're going to have a different element, a different scheme-wise every game. But, uh, you know, they kind of ran their stuff. So just watch watch what they uh, do on film. Do you Where's personally do anything different to prepare for the heat of Miami? Nah, I mean, it's, it's going to be hot. Uh, I think that's kind of a mindset thing. And it's, you really can't do nothing differently. You know, uh, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be. It's gonna be humid. It's gonna be muggy. Everybody gonna feel it. Uh, so, and just to, just hydrate and do as much as you can. But it's gonna be hot in Miami. Where's the biggest shift going from preparing in the preseason to now the regular season? Uh, I mean, you you kind of just know you're playing the whole game. Uh, so I don't think I don't think you try to prepare differently. I think. Uh, if you if you do that, you kind of kind of take yourself out the game. Like, so you watch you watch their players and you watch what they're gonna do and what they try to go hit you at, and with kind of you know they got a they got a whole new offense this year as well. So they got a new OC, and so you kind of go back and kind of watch his old stuff and where he come from, and so you prepare every game like it's your last. Like you don't you don't take any opportunity in the NFL for granted. You never know, like, freak injuries happen when, whenever. Like, you never know. So you don't, you don't prepare differently. Like, when you lace them up and practice in, in the game, preseason, postseason, you don't, you don't take that opportunity lightly because this is the National Football League. There's only so many guys that can play on every snap. There's only so many guys that can make the 53. There's so many, only so many opportunities you get and so when you get to go out on that film, that's your resume. Like, like you, that's your highlights. Like when I'm when I'm old, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be showing my grandkids this, and you know, uh, they 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 kids. Like, this is what I did, and so that's what I get to boast and brag about. And so when you when you're on that film, like, you don't take it lightly. And I'm asking this: Is your mom still on the phone? Yeah, my mom's still. Well, you're entering your second year here in New England. You're a veteran now. Yep. What role has she played in getting in you getting to this point in your career? Nothing. She a scrub. Uh, <laughs> uh, my uh, my mom is near and dear to me, man. Uh, she been through a lot uh, herself, like growing up wise and having ten kids, and uh, so every everything she's like my heart, man. So uh, that's why she up here with me. Can you hold her up? Nah, mom. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, uh, so. Can we ask her a question? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Ask her. Uh, what were you like as a kid? What uh, <laughs> What was I like as a kid? Uh, can you hold her up? To hold up to the mic. Yeah. Oh, uh, she said easy going, uh, smart. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I said easy going kid. Mm -hmm. Really relish over material things was just a uh, it was just a blessing to uh, have you because you never complained about anything. I mean, yeah. probably the probably the greatest kid in the world. I finished. <laughs> you know, like, probably, probably the yeah, probably the greatest kid in the world. Uh, but uh, <laughs> shit, growing growing up, growing up for us wasn't easy. Uh, she, but she always made it work. She worked as many jobs, and then my uh, my dad Earl Harrison, like, so I can't get them enough, uh, and they don't ask for anything. So uh, they they did a great job though, raising us, all of us. Yeah. We're gonna love my ten out of ten. I'm I'm six. I'm six. You know, I'm the sixth uh, child uh, in a bunch. I got uh, four younger brother. Two, and was a baby for five years. Two, two older. I got two older brothers, and then I got a. Let me turn her down. <laughs> two, two older brothers, and then three older sisters. Your final question. I think we should make this a regular thing. Well, yeah, yeah, all right. I'm a. I'm gonna have somebody featured in every interview. Each sibling, each week. Yeah, we got it. Uh, we good, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Thanks, man.